New revolutionary technologies could bring the good, clean world back to us where all could live with nature in perfect harmony. Creating a clean and comfortable environment has been Trek's prime precept, and Trek is constantly seeking the best way to recycle scrap tires and rubber waste in an eco-friendly way. Now, for the first time in the world, Trek has found the perfect answer to this mission by introducing TRP plant lines by applying a new revolutionary pyrolysis technology that works at a substantially lower temperature. The system is welcomed by many recycling industries and local governments from all over the world who have prayed for an environment-friendly and still profitable solution for treating scrap tires. This revolutionary TRP plant is an eco-friendly solution and a profit-generating system as well. The unique closed system design enables 24-hour continuous operation without interruption and without air pollution as it is working at around 300 degrees Celsius, not like old generation systems that are running at 600 to 700 degrees Celsius. The system recovers economically precious oil, carbon, and steel scraps that might generate enough revenue to recover initial investment in nearly three years, let alone other revenues like tire handling fees offered by many local governments. From now on, we will review how TRP works and the process that brought this outstanding system available after all. As a preparatory stage, a set of shredders cut scrap tires into two to three inch pieces, and then they are fed into a series of indirectly heated reactor chambers where thermal degradation of fed stocks takes place. At the first phase of the process, gas and oil could be recovered in carbon black and steel at a second phase. The non-condensable gases have a high calorific value and could be used as energy resource and burners for thermal energy production. The plant is capable of treating 50 tons of scrap tires a day and subsequently recovers 20 tons of oil, 15 tons of carbon black, and 5 tons of steel scraps. Schematically, the recycling process facility consists of a shredding station, pyrolysis reactors, gas separation station, oil distillation facility, and carbon and steel collecting station. The factory could install an optional gas-powered electrical generator that utilizes light gas produced in the process. We all know that the former two generations of pyrolysis, that which are based on batch processes at high temperature, have not been well accepted by recycling industries who have been disappointed by the unstable operations due to the high processing temperature of 600 degrees Celsius. And to make matters worse, those systems were not eco-friendly either. A new third generation technology that guarantees, one, stable operation to generate high profit, and two, closed facility design to minimize air pollution, has been finally developed and introduced by Trek after a great deal of long hard work. 1. By introducing a proprietary catalyst T10 enabling decomposition processes at 300 degrees Celsius down from 600 degrees Celsius, and 2. By designing patented top-down reactors meeting both airtight and continuous operating conditions to minimize emission to outside facility. Trek now owns six patents just through the last two years. Since the announcement of Trek's TRP plant in April 2008, this technology won highest praises from many organizations who have evaluated the plant on-site, including a specialist group from SUV Germany, which visited Seoul at the same time. Currently, TRP is the most wanted plant in the recycling industry thanks to the recognition of the media like KBS, KED, and others from overseas. We are surprised about this high level in South Korea on recycling of tires, on recycling of plastic materials, and so on. The technologies from Trek will lead a cleaner world by its three key words. 
Reduce, reuse, and recycle.